Okay, so I think one of the more complicated delays in the Helix, now it takes up about, I think, 40% of your DSP, so clearly there's quite a lot going on in this particular emulation. I wanted to just look at the kind of default settings and explain what's going on. And so the first thing you get when you pull this thing up, time, obviously this is fairly straightforward. Uh, this is how you control the rate of delays and stuff like that. So the wire flutter, typical kind of tape emulation stuff. So as you turn that up, you get more of the warble effects. turn that down for less of that kind of tape effect. The feedback is a bit of an interesting one because as you turn this up you start to self oscillate the thing. is a good kind of happy medium mix obviously you know what that does now headroom this is a kind of lower headroom kind of unit so you can actually control how much breakup you get with this kind of thing so if you want things to be sounding clean going and you don't want to drive this kind of virtual circuit you could have this headroom higher um, certainly if you're using sort of a loud signal chain into the cosmos echo you might want to run that headroom a bit higher We'll come back to this head thing because that's useful. Bass and treble, obviously you're controlling the amount of bass and that sort of stuff. On the repeats, so you know. Quite a bit of control over that, the tonality of those repeats. This FB tone thing, is controlling the rate at which the repeats get darker. So if we have it all the way down, I think this is kind of, they get dark quite quickly. You hear those degrade quite quickly versus if you have it all the way up, they should be a bit brighter. You can hear they degrade slightly less quickly, if you like, uh, and retain that brightness uh, for longer. Splice is an interesting one. So this essentially, I've done a little bit of demoing stuff, but every kind of 32 seconds there's this uh, sound. So the virtual model tape has to rejoin kind of where the ends of the tape are spliced together, like in the real world. And as the tape ages, this splice has more of an impact on the tone and on the effect. You need to turn this all the way to zero, I've found, to, to get rid of it. At 0.3 you can hear it slightly, at 5 it's very pronounced, and at 10 it's super obvious you'll hear it. Um, it's unpredictable because 32 seconds obviously is, I guess, the length of this virtual tape, and you'll start to hear it. So
other thing that's worth talking about is this dry through now this has a really subtle impact on tone um, basically what I can hear is it kind of reduces when you've got the dry off doing a model of the real kind of pedal and essentially the dry signal going through the Roland Space Echo is reduced by about 0.2 decibels so a really small amount there might be some tonal impact that you can notice or you might not I'm not sure I can't really hear what spread is doing Ben Adrian says these do different things on different models um, not really clear what spread does so maybe you'll be able to find yourself what that can do uh, and listen yourself sorry I can't help with that but it's not obvious to me so there's a few of these effects which are quite subtle so dry through is very subtle spread is very subtle um, this FB tone I find to be quite subtle splice is obvious when it happens but it's not that obvious what it's going to be doing until you've actually heard it and then I just wanted to talk about these head modes so head 3 is actually where I'd suggest starting so if you look at the tap tempo this will be uh, head 3 is the one that's essentially just a crotchet so if you One and head two are actually kind of the triplets so we got that crotchet and then got so it'd be on the second kind of repeat and then head two is the Here, there that's like on the so you could kind of split these into three quavers uh, if you want to so you're playing the first kind of triplet quaver the second triplet quaver is head one the third triplet quaver is head two and then head three is the crotchet so if we put them all together one and three together you get or head two and three together you get da, da, da. to one or two people those are kind of the settings that I've found so as I say spread is kind of subtle the FB tone at the lower settings you get darker kind of repeats um, at higher settings you get brighter repeats splice is that kind of little weird thing that you hear every now and then um, like the little splice artifact like that. and the ramp speed I believe impacts kind of how quickly it kind of starts to ramp up you know like if you change tempo like that with the tap tempo the ramp can affect that wild flutter does the kind of obvious stuff like tape wobbly effects hopefully that makes that a little bit clearer for one or two people feel free to like and subscribe if it did and i'll catch you in another video soon cheers